Hey guys, today we're going to be changing out the main cab work lights on a New Holland CR from halogen to LED bulbs and I will show you how to do that. We're going to be three parts here. We're going to do what you're going to need and the headlights that I used, how to disassemble it and reassemble it, and then I got a little light meter on my phone. We're going to test it out and see how much of an improvement it is. So it's not really that difficult of a job. So let's get to it. This particular machine is a 2014 New Holland CR 8090. Those long cab lights are what we're going to be changing. You're going to need three zip ties, a 10 millimeter wrench or socket, something to cut the zip ties with, and a Phillips head screwdriver. You're also going to need the LED light bulbs. To do both lights, you're going to need Three sets. These are the LED lights that I chose to use. I got these off of Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description. There's a couple reasons I chose these specific lights. Number one, I was looking for the highest lumen output per pair of lights, and I was also looking for a fanless design. I don't want the little fan in there just because I haven't had good luck with those in the past. In this application, with a lot of dust and a lot of moisture, I thought that wouldn't last very long. So this one is non-fanless, and I'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about. So here on the back of the LED, you can see it's just a big aluminum heat sink, and that's what dissipates the heat that's generated by the LED bulb. A lot of them have little fans that run, and which works good if you're all sealed up really good and you're probably not in the agriculture application where there's a lot of dust and a lot of moisture. So this one I think will last long but I don't know yet exactly how long it's gonna last I have not tried these before so the jury's still out on that but this is what the LED looks like these headlights are the 9005 or HB3 is the style they're very common so you can see there's quite a difference in the style here it's gonna make it a challenge to get installed and I'll show you that once we get the headlight on the bench and go over a couple things that I did to keep these secure in the housing. All right, so let's get up on the machine and we're gonna physically remove the entire headlight assembly and put it on the bench. I'm gonna end up using a Phillips head with drill and I'm also gonna use the 10 millimeter on my 90 degree uh, Milwaukee ratchet. Okay, before we get going removing the headlight assembly, let's test the factory light output and the three halogen bulbs that are in there. And all I got to do is I got a, a little like light meter app on my phone. We're going to shut the lights off in our shop. It's not nighttime or anything, but we'll do the best we can to get a, a good reading and comparison here. I think it'll give us at least something to go off of. All right, so the light output with the factory halogen light is 263 lumens. That's what it looks like. I do have some LEDs below the cab already, um, but I, they're pointing away from the, the door where I was measuring. Okay, now that we got it tested, let's jump up on the machine and disassemble the headlight and take it out. It's pretty straightforward, so I'll try to buzz through this as fast as I can. Okay, the first thing we need to do is take off this cover underneath this roof assembly here and there should be a bunch of screws they're phillips head and they should come right out and that's going to give us access to the headlight assembly and the bolts and nuts that hold it in place okay now that i have the screws removed all except one i'll have access to the back of the headlight this is what it looks like in there there's one, two, and way back here is number three, 10 millimeter nuts that need to be removed. First thing I'm gonna do is unplug the factory headlight plugs. All right, I have everything unplugged and the wire harness is out of the way. Let's get these nuts off. Uh, 
the nuts removed from the back of the headlight housing, I'm just going to be careful that it doesn't fall forward. I'm holding it in the back and we'll just push, push it out of there. Let's get it over to the bench. We'll remove the factory halogen lights and I'll show you what needs to be done to install the LED lights. The headlight bulbs come out pretty easily. There's just two spring clips that hold them in place. Pop the springs off. You don't even need to turn the bulb. There's just a little O-ring holding them in place and out they come. The next step is to get ready to install the LED bulbs after all the halogen bulbs have been removed. And it's pretty straightforward, but this is what I've come up with. You need one of the zip ties that you had earlier, a Phillips head screwdriver. I have a number one here. There's a small Phillips screw on this spring clip retainer assembly that needs to be removed. Okay, now that I got the screw removed, I'm gonna take my zip tie and I'm actually gonna put the screw through the zip tie about one inch away from the head of the zip tie. About right there. The zip tie is going to help hold the new LED bulb in place. And all I'm doing is pushing the screw through the, through the plastic zip tie and I threaded it in. That's what it looks like. So now that you have that done, you can reinstall that screw back into the retainer clip. Okay, now we have the zip tie fastened to the housing of our headlight assembly, just like that. So I can curl this around, put it in, and get it snug tight. So why do we need to do that? If you can see here, this big aluminum heat sink is in the way of those metal spring retaining clips, where the factory one, it would hold it in real nicely and it would clip. It's not the case with these, so we need to use the zip tie to fasten it down. This is pretty straightforward. There's three tabs. There's an O-ring. Put it in there. These headlight, you cannot turn, you, you don't turn and put them in place. They just are held in with the spring clip. So that's what it looks like. They should be pretty snug in there already just with the O-ring to keep the water and dust out. Then I'm going to put the spring clip back down. And as you can tell, because of this heat sink, the spring retainers will not go back into its factory position, which is why we have our zip tie here. I'm going to put the zip tie around the spring, around the spring clip, and just gently pull it tight. And that's going to hold the headlight in place. I don't think there's any reason to over tighten the zip tie. Take your scissors, cut off the tag end. There you go. You have one LED bulb installed. It's really nice and snug. Now how long this is going to last is anybody's guess. I think I'll check it after harvest. It seems pretty snug. If these were to fall out, I think something major would have had to happen up in the cab. So I think it'll last quite a while. All right, I'm going to install the other two. I think it's also important to note that I'm using some higher quality zip ties. Uh, these are nothing from Harbor Freight or anything. Tried to get the nicest, heaviest duty zip ties I could. Although you don't need to really tighten them down too much. They're just holding the spring clips in place. Also, another important note, I am being very careful to not touch the actual LED of this headlight with my hands. Just like a regular halogen bulb, this particular set of LED bulbs did come with gloves, but it's pretty easy not to touch them. LED bulbs are installed. Just checking that they're nice and snug in there and that the O-ring is all seated in there very nicely. 
The zip ties aren't super tight, so they should last a long time. That's what they look like from the back. This is what it looks like from the front. Let's go get it installed and let's test it and see how much better it is, if it is any better. All right guys, I just got done wrapping up the installation of the headlight assembly and I buttoned everything back up. So let's test again to see how much brighter, if any, uh, these LED high intensity um, headlight bulbs are. I'm gonna do the same thing I did before. I'm gonna shut the lights off. We'll flip the headlights on and we'll take them a reading. All right, so with the three new 9005 HB3 LED headlights, got a reading of 310 lumens. So I think the other one was 263, the factory. So we bumped up almost 50 lumens there, which is, I don't know, maybe pretty good. Uh, they do seem brighter, so let's, let's take a look at them. Unfortunately today it's rainy and cloudy so I won't be out combining and I won't be able to give you a real world experience of how these things actually perform at nighttime. Although I can say anything over the factory halogen bulbs should be any better. As far as longevity that's also another thing I can't tell you. Um, I think without the fan they should last longer than the ones with the fan that's just my opinion. Take it for what it's worth. And also I think it's important to note that on Amazon there are tons of 9005 slash HB3 headlights. So um, use caution when you're buying them. Uh, some are shaped like the factory uh, that might fit well or better than these. Some are just like these and need a little bit of modification. So hopefully uh, whatever is done, whatever you guys choose to do can fit in there decent. I think this should last um, quite a while, especially in the location that they are. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this and thanks for watching.